Oke, okay, next topic let's create the inheritance from the existing Odoo uh, models uh, by uh, diagramming the UML uh, model here. Let's create the class here. So let's say that the uh, course has the responsibility, right? Uh, this one will be uh, inherited from the Odoo's uh, res users uh, uh, model, right? So for inheriting the existing Odoo models, we have to specify the name, which is uh, with the default value of the model to inherit so this one should be res users and then it should also have the inherit inherit uh, attribute with the value of uh, res users as well all right so here we'll have the inherited class from the res users uh, that we need to create the associations from course right so we will drag the association line here and we will have this one to let's say the responsible id which is uh, zero to many fill all right so we will add a field inside the course model called responsible id which is many to one to user all right optionally we can create the uh, course ids fields inside the users which have the one to many uh, relationships all right Let's see that we will have this additional uh, association and this will be uh, converted to a uh, field inside the course. Uh, the same thing happened to the, let's say we need to inherit the partner. We must specify the name, which is uh, uh, rest partner. And then the inherit should be res partner also, right? So if we put the equal sign here, it will be automatically put into the default value, all right? So we can uh, specify the equal or we can put the value here inside the default value, all right? And then next, we just simply add the association from session to partner let's say this one is the instructor ID so who is teaching in this session in instructor ID which is uh, the many to one uh, field to the partner right so we can optionally put the uh, session IDs which is one too many to the session or model session all right optionally we can add an additional field inside the partner let's say is it an instructor instructor uh, the type is uh, not denoted with the uh, colon right so it will be boolean so it can be specified here or it can be typed here in the type uh, field all right okay that's it all right we need to recreate our auto add-ons generate this one and then uh, remove the existing one open all right let's open into the editor okay we have the additional py file here 
<coughs> we have the name and then the inherit risk partner we have an additional field called is, is in structure is boolean type and then we have additional field inside the risk partner also the session ids one too many two academic session with the inverse name of instructor id okay let's see the user right the user uh, the same thing happened here name is res users and then inherit is res users we add another additional field called course ids one too many to academic course all right additionally we are uh, presented also with the users xml if we need this one and then the partner xml is we need this one also all right the manifest is uh, automatically added with these two lines and also the init the init py inside the model is also added to the user and the partner all right let's try to upgrade this add-on from the command line because we add something into the user and the partner all right okay so we, it will be upgrading from the command line here okay and then just uh, <clears throat> just uh, refresh the browser here all right okay we have the partner and then we have the user menu all right and then we have the course with responsible which is uh, many to one to user all right and then we have the session which have a relationship to in structure which is the partner also okay the instructor is relation to rest partner okay that's it that's how to define the inheritance in our generator code all right see you next time